Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. Today I am going to prepare a video on multi language report or translation in the Oracle Fusion. So, in this video, I am going to tell you how to call the multiple language in a same template or a same report. If you want more videos related to Oracle Fusion or any other topic, you can comment in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Coming back to the topic, for implementing this topic, I have to go to the Oracle Fusion instance first. This is the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So I have to build the multi language report. So for building the multi language report, what I have to do, I have to go to new and then I have to create one data model. So I am clicking on data model. It will redirect me to the data model page. So one thing I will do, I will write all the steps which are required in one notepad that I will paste under my video. Okay. So our topic is multi language report or translation in oracle fusion so what are the step we require the first step we require is create the data model for creating the data model what we requires we require query i am having one query with me which i already used in my previous videos also i am just copy pasting that query over here i will explain you that query also so what we are doing in this query we are having two tables po headers all and po lines all here and i am taking this only one column from the po headers table and the rest of the columns are from the po lines table just i am selecting here is the join condition between the po headers and po lines that is po header id and and the second condition is it is the segment one means PO number. We don't want to fetch all the data of PO, just I have to fetch the data of one PO. So I am hard coding that PO number over here. So I am copying the same query and I am going to my data model page. So this is my data model page. I have to create the new data model. That's why I will click on this plus icon. Then here is the SQL query. Then I will paste that particular query here. So first I have to give the name for this data model. So I am giving multi language underscore dm dm is nothing but the data model then i have to select the data source so my data source is fusion db so i am selecting fusion db okay when i clicked on okay it will generate the data model for me now i have to save the sample data for this data model so i have to go to the data then i have to click here view and then i have to save as a sample data then i have to save this data model so i am clicking on save i can save it anywhere but i am saving into shared folder and here i am having one folder that is test underscore nk so i am saving in this folder i am giving the name to the data model is multi language underscore dm i am copying the same into the description section also and i am just clicking on ok so you can see over here my data model is saved now i have to generate the report so i am clicking on create report it will redirect me to the layout section so i don't want to build my report using this method so i am clicking on cancel then i have to select here that my data model so what is my data model it is a multi language dm so i am selecting that so you can see over here my data model is selected now i have to generate the template so i have to click on this generate button and i have to give the name for the template so i am giving multi language underscore template so i'm clicking on the generate button so it will generate automatically the data template rta file for us so this is my data template now what i have to do i have to just save this template then i'm saving this template with the name multi language layout and i'm copying the same name into the description section also and i'm just clicking on ok when i clicked on ok you can see over here it is saved now i have to view this so i am clicking on this view report button when i clicked on view report button it will generate the report and you can see over here my report is generated okay so this is the report but now what i have to do this is in the english language because or by default locale is english now i have to print all this header by using the spanish language so how i will do that so for that you have to go to this setting icon go to edit report then here is the property section of that particular template or report so just clicked on the this property section and here is the translation section so just click on extract translation when you click on extract translation it will download the translation file for you so you can see over here the translation file is downloaded i am just opening this translation file so this is my translation file i will write all the steps which we had done till now so we had created the data model then second step is create the layout and template third step is test the report using current locale 
fourth step is go to report properties and download the translation file so till this four step four we already had done now what i have to do i have to go to the translation file so here is the two languages that is the source language source language is nothing but the en en is for the english and targeted language is also here en that is an english this source language data is coming from our table and it is translating to this particular language so here we have to translate in spanish so i am writing instead of this en dash us es es is for the spanish so you have to change the target language so i'm writing that fifth step is change the target language as required and in bracket i am writing spanish equals to es so now what is our sixth step so other things you don't have to change just you have to go to the column names so here is my column name po header so here is also po header targeted language but here you have to write that particular target language into the spanish so how po headers will represent in the targeted language that i have to write so my sixth step is change the target tag value to required language so i already point out it that particular columns which i used and their meaning in the spanish so i will just replace the spanish text in the target tag so i am just writing it here so similarly i will write for other tags also so you can see over here i had changed all this particular columns now i am just saving this translation file so it is saved now what i have to do i have to go back to the oracle fusion instance and here is the translation section so what i have to do i have to just upload this translation file make sure that the extension of the translation file is dot xlf and this time i have to select the locale as spanish and just click on ok when you click on ok it will upload the file you can see over here local spanish and then you have to click on save over here so you can see over here it is saved i will note down this step also so the seventh step is upload the translation or dot xlf file to the translation section and save it then what is the next step go to catalog and schedule the report so now i am clicking on catalog so i am on the catalog page for testing this particular changes of multi language we can't view that output from view report we have to schedule that report by using the catalog or by using the ess job so here i am using the method of scheduling the report by using catalog so for that here is a multi language layout click on more and click on schedule when you clicked on schedule it will redirect you to the schedule page so if you have any parameters then you have to give over here then you have to go to the output tab then here you have to give the output type i am giving it as a pdf and here you have to give the locale so i am giving the locale as spanish in schedule and notification i don't want to update anything in diagnostic i have to click this three option because of this three options i will get the log printed then i have to click on submit i have to give the name so i am giving the name as multi language report i am just clicking on okay and you can see over here job multi language successfully submitted click on okay and click on return when you click on return it will redirect you to the catalog for checking the output just go to more again in the layout and click on history and if you click on search it will search the report according to this conditions so this is my report multi language report i am just clicking on it and here is the output section in output section i am just clicking on this output name that is output 1 you can see over here i had changed this all this header and you can see all the headers are changed in spanish language so this english to spanish translation i had done using the google translate so by this way you can generate the multi language report or translation report so in our next video i am going to tell you that bursting in the oracle fusion If you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you